Hey everyone, I'm Mark Texer. This is Augustine's Cooking at Home. Uh, we are making a game day pork pasta. Um, it's March, it's March Madness. You wanna, the guys are coming over, you wanna feed them, we're gonna be making this beautiful pork ragu. Um, so we have a pork shoulder here that was deboned. Um, we are going to marinate this overnight. All right. So overnight is preferred, obviously, if you want to do it that day, um, start in the morning, at least three hours of marinating. All right, we're going to cut this into chunks. All right. Okay. You don't have to be too specific at this point. Now, I have some spices and herb blend that we're gonna use today. So, <clears throat> I love cinnamon and pork. Um, it just adds a little bit of that cinnamoniness to the pork. Um, I have a spice blend that I use at the restaurant. This is cinnamon, uh, nutmeg, coriander, about 12 or 13 different spices. Uh, we're just going to add that to our pork. We're going to add a little bit of salt. Okay. A little bit of pepper. We're going to add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Alright, now to this I have <clears throat> an herb mixture I always keep in the refrigerator. This is thyme, um, rosemary, some garlic, and a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. So you add that to there. All right, we're gonna mix this around. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator for overnight. Okay, cover it. <clears throat> you can put it in a Ziploc bag. Um, you can just leave it in the bowl. All right, so we're gonna cover this. We're gonna put it in the refrigerator for uh, overnight, 24 hours, at least. Um, I mean, at the, at the least three hours, but overnight is preferred. Um, so let me put that in the refrigerator and we'll come back. All right, everyone, welcome back. It has been 24 hours. Our pork has marinated. Um, if you remember, we put in our herb mixture, um, our seasoning, salt, pepper, extra virgin olive oil. Uh, we've marinated overnight and now we're going to start to make the sauce. Um, so we have tomatoes, our sauce. We have an onion and some garlic. All right. So we've let this pan come up to temperature. Okay. As you can see, it's smoking. We're gonna add our pork first, okay? <clears throat> Put this in there. Okay, while that is caramelizing, we're going to cut our onion. So, we're just going to Chop it the long way. Goes out of there. Okay. So, if you see, I'm cutting the onion this way, which is um, lengthwise. Um, that will give me a nice uh, dice on these. I'll move this out of the way so you can see it a little bit better. So, I've cut it now, and then we're going to just cut it down here. Okay. And that'll give you a nice dice. We're going to add that. To our pan. Right. We're going to salt and pepper this. It smells amazing at this point just with the that spice mix that I use um, with the cinnamon, coriander, nutmeg, all those spices, that herb mixture. We got a little salt, we got a little pepper. Okay. Uh, we're going to add our tomatoes now. All right. Now the tomatoes I've crushed by hand. I've left some big, some whole. Um, I, I like a little bit of both. Um, I find just that like texture of tomato you get when you leave some of them whole um, is just appealing to me. 
Um, you could certainly just buy crushed tomatoes if you want and add it to there. Um, we are going to stir that around, add the rest of that. Okay, and very important when you're making something like this is always season the ingredients as you're, as you're working. So we've seasoned the pork, the pork is seasoned, we're gonna season the tomatoes, so the tomatoes are seasoned that way when you taste it, everything is seasoned. All right, so we're going to bring this up to a boil and then reduce it on a very low heat to a simmer, all right? And cover it. We're gonna cook this for about an hour, an hour and a half um, until all the pork has really uh, come into nice tenderness. All right, guys, we have a pork ragu working. Um, now we're gonna make probably one of the most um, requested salads at the restaurant. Um, our winter salad. <clears throat> so we have pecans, we have grapes, apples, and we have a beautiful smoked blue cheese. Um, and then to that, we're going to be making a maple vinaigrette. All right. Perfect for a nice fall day. Perfect complement to the pork ragu. Very simple um, to make. We're going to take some Dijon mustard. Okay, about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Uh, this is apple cider vinegar. We're going to take about a quarter cup. We have some beautiful New York maple syrup. Okay, we're going to add about three quarters of a cup to that. Give it a little whisk. We're gonna add a little bit of salt now, just so I don't forget, and a little bit of pepper. All right. Now we're gonna slowly add our extra virgin olive oil to that. You're gonna add it slow so that the oil and the mustard incorporate and don't break all right and always use a good olive oil um, when you do this all right um, just remember that the better ingredients you put in the best you're going to get out so try to use the best you can all right so we've incorporated our olive oil into this as you can see it's nice and emulsified it's not broken okay we're gonna come over here and we're gonna give the uh, pork ragu a stir. All right. As you can see, the pork and the tomatoes are coming together nicely. All right. We're going to taste that. Now, make sure the seasoning is okay. We're gonna add a little salt and pepper. As you cook, as you go along, make sure that you're checking for seasoning. Always helps. That way at the end, uh, you have a perfectly seasoned dish. Okay. All right, so to that, we're gonna add some pecans. Now these pecans I've candied, all right? I've just boiled with sugar, okay? And then put in the oven to dry. We have our grapes, okay? These are the most, oh, we lost one. And we're going to cut an apple, throw that on there. Okay. All right. Just going to place the apple on top. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of our dressing. And then we're gonna add some of our blue cheese. And then we're gonna put it into the refrigerator while we wait for our pork ragu. All right, there you have it. Our salad is done. We're gonna throw that in the, mic in the uh, refrigerator, not the microwave, we're gonna throw it in the refrigerator and we're gonna wait for our pork ragu. Welcome back everybody. We are talking pork ragu today. Um, we are going to add our pasta now. So the water is boiling. Um, we have salted water here. Our pork ragu is going. Um, I just tasted it and checked for seasoning. It's all good. The pork is really coming along. 
we're gonna add our pasta now. I have um, some rigatoni here. And we're just gonna add about half of this to the boiling water. Give it a little stir. And we're gonna bring it up to a boil and let it cook for about 13 minutes. And we'll be right back. Welcome back everybody. Uh, big game day is on. Um, if you're a uh, Jets fan or a Cowboys fan, uh, nothing better to cry over than a bowl of pasta. So we have uh, our rigatoni here, uh, almost cooked. We have our uh, pork ragu, almost done. Um, I've checked for seasoning. It is seasoned properly. Um, it tastes amazing. Just the uh, flavor from the spices, the herbs. It's amazing. So now we're going to strain our pasta here. And then we're gonna put the pasta back into the pot. Okay. We're gonna bring it back over to the heat. We're gonna keep it on high, and we're gonna add some of the ragu to this pasta. What this is gonna do is it's gonna reduce the sauce a little bit, and it's gonna really make sure it sticks to the pasta. Um, this is how you get that like restaurant feel to your homemade pastas. Um, it's a little uh, trick of the trade, as they say. All right. So <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that, but we have our pasta in here. We have our meat. We're just going to add a little bit more. We're going to bring it up so it starts to boil, reduce down. All right. Now. We're gonna give it a stir. I don't know if you can see that. I mean, that's that's looking delicious. All right, so on the heat, we're just gonna add a little bit of the extra virgin olive oil to finish. Make sure you always have like a good olive oil on hand um, to finish with. Okay, now I'm gonna turn off the, the heat and I'm going to add <clears throat> some Parmigiano Reggiano. Now, you notice I have the real stuff and not like a shaker. Um, <clears throat> please buy the real stuff. Don't buy that shaker. It's nothing but sawdust. Um, so we're going to finish this with a little bit of Parmigiano Reggiano. We're going to give it a stir. Okay, we're going to grab our bowl here. All right. We're going to pour this into our bowl. Oh, it looks delicious. All right. So, we're going to top it with a little bit of our ragu, our meat here. All right. A little bit of Parmesan on the top. We're going to get our salad. And no matter who wins, you'll be the winner on this one. So we have our pork ragu of Rosidi and we have our salad with our maple vinaigrette. Thank you for joining us. I'm Mark Texera. This is Augustine's Cooking at Home and we'll see you later.